What's going on YouTube? What's going on? It's crazy. This is the first time I actually did like a vlog like this with y'all. But we're gonna call this the grocery shopping vlog. At the one that only Myers. Sheesh. Hit the camera. Hey Tommy, if you're watching this video, that was that balloon we was talking about. Sheesh. I have not done a, a Myers vlog with y'all. And I thought this would like kind of like be a good video, kind of chill video to come back to. I haven't been on YouTube in a minute. Talk to y'all, tell y'all what's been going on, everything I've been up to, where I've been at. Uh, see, this is a perfect time. Like I came like right Myers clothes at uh, 12. So if you're watching this and you like, bro, are you one of the people that come to the store late? No, I'm not, but it's like empty. I'm like, bro, I'm hungry. I don't feel like eating out nowhere. I wanna cook something. So let me kinda my ears, you feel me? Like that's it. Get a couple snacks. I actually feel like cooking. So that's what we're doing. Um so first off, where have I been? So recently, as you guys know, like I've been posting, I still been posting content. As you guys know, I've been starting doing it like every Sunday. Every Sunday we've been doing freaking um every Sunday I do like a poll on my Instagram or a poll on like I post on TikTok too, but I do a poll on Instagram and I say, hey, let me know what setup y'all want to get for the week. So every Sunday, that's why y'all been seeing. Actually, besides this past Sunday, that's my fault. I apologize. Side note, these donut sticks, I don't know what they put in them, but I am addicted. So we're just going to add that to the cart. And actually, I'm going to get two of them. And look, I was sick because this whole time, I used to go to the gas station and get from the gas station. And the gas station was caught charging me like two dollars per donut stick. Meanwhile, you can get a pack of six for the same price of two. So they was really getting off on me all the time, and I wasn't realizing. So I'm sick about that, right? But once I came here, I saw that I'm like, oh, it's up. But uh, that's what I was saying. Uh, let me look at this list. But that's what I was saying. My fault, but not for not giving y'all the setups last week. But it's cool. We better be back consistent, back on it. Um, just been taking this time like really focusing as you guys know like my personal mentee shout out to all three of y'all or well, really yeah officially all three of y'all shout out to every single one of y'all man um, just been kind of like pouring gems into them wanted to focus on like everything I want to get situated for them as well as like just the academy overall just as well as like the sitting chat just been plugging in like it's been a lot of stuff going on like OD like Trey's been smacking left and right. Like profits over profits over profits. Um, and if you haven't seen my Instagram, you would know like, well, if you haven't, if you have some Instagram, you know I'm about to say it now. Look at this chicken, bro. I need to get back into meal prepping too. Um, but I'm thinking about making chicken quesadillas. I'm all over the place right now, my fault y'all. But if you haven't noticed, I mean, if you, if you peek my Instagram, then you know July 9th is crazy. Tomorrow is literally, today is literally July 8th. This is what I hate when they do this shit. Excuse my French. But I hate when they put out all this stuff, like right when it's about to get expired, because then it's like it forcing me to get my chicken. July 11th, that's not that bad. I guess it don't matter anyway if I said I'm, I plan on meal prepping and stuff. So these days, not that bad. Let me go ahead. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna snag this one. We're snagging this one. But look. Um, basically, on Instagram I posted, like, I'm not going to be posting profits as much as I used to. And the biggest thing is, like, a couple of reasons. Like, one, safety reasons. Um, obviously, like, the more profits I post, the more I'm showing that part of, like, what I'm doing on the charts and stuff. And put a target on my back. Like, people are grimy. You never know who's watching you. So, from a safety standpoint, I know, like, I need to stop posting profits as much. And just know, try me if you want. You can assume what you think. Basically, read between the lines like that. I'm not going to post or say like too much because you know YouTube. But try me if you want. Right? But let's see. What do I want to get him? Yacht. Yacht. Uh, he says some cheddar ruffle chips. So let's find that. Uh, where is this at? I know y'all don't want to see me. Come down the aisle. These boys bang, but these not 
Let me put y'all here. Let me find out. I want some good chips, bro. I'm lucky I can't find uh, what I've been eating recently. All right, so look. It's Ruffles, but it's the one with LeBron name on it. Like, it, it's gonna kind of look like some barbecue chips like these, but it's gonna have LeBron face on it. It's like, it's like flaming Hot Honey Barbecue. So, if you see them boys, if I find it eventually, I'll show y'all, but if not, y'all already know. So look, so yeah, basically like for safety reasons, profits reasons, and two, like I don't need the government. As I'm starting to get more uh, notice, as I'm starting to grow my following and grow my page, I don't need unnecessary, um, like I, basically like, it's gonna make you be a target on my back. <laughs> you feel me? Like, not even on some like, I'm paranoid, but just being like, safety first, man, you feel me? Precautions. Taking the necessary precautions. Uh, Which one should I get y'all? I've been trying to really focus on like really showing y'all instead of like focusing on me, but focusing more on like so y'all can feel like y'all a part of me. Cause this it's a family right now. And I know I'm that cousin that's been distant from y'all. So I'm gonna make sure I get back to it. This is the one I used to get. I forgot which one I used to get. We can go with this one. Yeah, perfect. All right, so what else I need? Cheese, you need the pico de gallo. And then you need to figure out. It's so funny, like I'm so used to it. Used to people looking like, why you got this camera? I'm giving y'all a hit. You would think I'm a freaking, you said two pound burger meat. I just thought about that. Ugh. You would think I was a freaking food person. I'm trying to put y'all a hit. Man, I, you know what? I might mess around and cook for y'all too. Nah, I'm not cooking for y'all. If y'all want that type of vlog, I'll get a girl on my channel and I'll have her cook. We can cook together, type, do something like that. But if not, we'll go from there. Now, back to what I was saying. So, I'm going on a tangent right now. And I really need to be looking at this list because my ears do close at 12. It is currently 11 12. It's almost two pounds of ground beef. Like, come on, bro. Yep. So I'm making this week, later on this week, I'm making quesadillas slash meal prepping. Uh, but yeah, so like I was saying, I want to focus more. That's not what I was saying. <laughs> I'm sure. Look, these right here. Oh my God. Fruity cereal bars, crack bro, fire. Now, like I was saying, safety first. So with that being said, not really posting profits as much. Like if I have a big day, like obviously I'm still gonna post it from like motivational purposes. But as far as like me posting crazy on the profits page, um, posting like back to back, like when I'm getting high six figures, cracking six figures, like things of that nature. Like, mm -mm, can't do it. Cannot do it. So, uh, so yeah. So like, by the time this video is put on to YouTube, I'm trying to think. I probably will have this in this. It's probably will all be in one video. So like this video plus the freaking. I'm really trying to think about how I'm gonna do it. It's either gonna be. Be good. It's either gonna be. I don't know. I really don't know how I'm gonna do it. I probably be. I'm stuck because I'm trying to think about everything I need and I'm trying to talk to you at the same time. It's actually way harder than what I thought it was gonna be. But, um. What am I thinking about? I don't know. So, yeah, every Sunday, if you haven't peeped already, it's a poll. I just realized it's a community page for y'all on YouTube. Or actually. You know what? Go follow me on Instagram. I mean, go follow me on the thread. The, the new thing that everybody's talking about on Instagram. And I'm going to start posting like every Sunday. Like, oh, what free setup do y'all want for the week? And I post on there. So that way it's like, all right. Y'all already know where to go to. 
to look for the uh, setups. Whatever y'all tell me on that thread, I'll go ahead and use that uh, for the setups. Or if it's US 30, SPS, NAS nice 100, Germany 30, like however we want to do it from there. Uh, I need to find the Pico de Gallo. Where you at? Where you at? See, I be, uh, dang, dang, got nothing to say They don't. We're gonna do spicy raw salsa. That's gonna be my version of it. And I should get some tortilla chips just so it can uh, be fire. No, let's find his onions. Mm, there we go. But yeah, so. Sorry to be back on the YouTube channel, man. Ready to plug in with y'all. Give y'all more setups. Finally, got one more month before we get into like the actual trade not trade before we get to the actual like spending on what i want to spend stuff on. Um, white and so cool we got let's get us one of these ah. all right now let's figure out what onion we get look at the color gray look at the details man see this is the part about myers i don't like when it's time to open up the vegetables, oh, I'm doing this with one hand. I'm about to say that like, you can barely open this. It's plastic. Meanwhile, I'm over here trying to do it with the camera. Yeah. All right, y'all. Which onion should I pick? Nah, that's steep. Mm. See, really, the outside it matters. But it don't because you know what it's not about what's on the inside i mean it's not about what's on the outside it's about on the inside you feel me but actually yeah this one not bad so i'm gonna use this one yeah let's do it Ooh. so that's one onion now all we need is uh oh i need my dice onions actually no i don't just take the onions from here eh? perfect and then oh i'm glad i remember i didn't give up my season Let's get another plastic and then let's find the green peppers. It'd be funny because people probably be looking like, who is he talking to? And then they see the camera. And then they know exactly who I'm talking to. Excuse me. Uh, where are the green peppers? I got y'all looking at the ruffles. Got y'all coming with me. Peppers. This big old sign that say peppers right here. And my trash still can't see it. Terrible. Ugh. Boom. Bell pepper. Alright, let's do this again. One, let's find this one. No, too small. Too small. What in tarnation? Bro, it's decent, but honestly, I might miss trying to get two small ones in because, like, it's not big enough. So, there's one. Alright, so one, maybe two. Uh, so yeah, this a bro. Did these boys get smashed? All right, we can go one, two. Let's open this up again. But yeah, so while I'm doing this, alright, this vlog while we while we shopping in Myers, you feel me? I really wanted to talk about like followers, not even just like people that like not not like like haters and followers but i'm talking about like actual like instagram followers and people that even like my subscriber list so currently i'm at 208 subscribers which is crazy because like beginning of this year honestly i don't know where i was at at the beginning of this year but i know last year i was around only 30 so from 30 to 200 bro like that's an amazing growth you feel me um jelly got me down this oh 
Let's see. Do you mind passing me a Concord grape? This one. Right here? Yep. All right. Perfect. I thought you said popcorn. I'm like, popcorn. oh, popcorn. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate you. Why do you think about watching movies? Or something like that? Nah. That's not a bad idea. Maybe I'll watch a movie when I get home. But look, so. Oh, gentlemen. So, um. What was that? Followers. So, followers basically, like, bro, like, don't be. Like, do not. I'm telling y'all now. Do not think. Uh, do not think followers do not think the amount of followers someone has determines how much money they make please don't like, I'm telling you that now it could be the people with the lowest amount of followers or people that do not care about the influence and lifestyle or just showing off and stuff that can be that will be making way more than your favorite social media people or your favorite influencers or your favorite day traders whoever it is in the market like me, I only have 208 subscribers. Get hip to the season. Side note, get hip to the season. I only have 208. It's the big boy too. I don't even need the big one. 208 subscribers and I only have like what, 2,500 on Instagram, 2,400. And granted, like, I don't care for it, but I will say this. I am about to start growing my, my page here and on Instagram. So I am eventually gonna get my following up. I know it's gonna come naturally. The moment I really start like showing the lifestyle and just really just living my life in general, it's what I'm looking at right now. But yeah, so like the moment I know like when I start living my lifestyle more in general and just doing everything I wanna do for real, I know it's gonna naturally grow and naturally come. But I know when I get to this point, there's gonna be people that's like, oh, he's only showing the lifestyle or oh, he's he make money off of courses, da 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 da, that's it. And, I, it's, and I'm gonna need y'all to tell them like, Y'all must have, we, I need y'all, whenever we see a comment like that on our YouTube video, when people ask me like, oh, something about withdrawals or something about, we could do this. I don't, this is new. Have y'all ever seen, I haven't been cooking in a minute, so have y'all ever seen this? Like, how they look like this? It's different. But, um, whenever we see, like, as I start to start really, like, traveling, just having fun, and just posting, like, a lot of vlogs for y'all, whether it's car rallies and different things, like when people ask, like, oh, how do you get this one? Like, doo -doo -doo. oh, he make money off the course. I really want y'all to tell them, like, we can tell you new here. That's it. That's all we're gonna say, like, oh, you new here, huh? You just not getting hit to A. A been giving us free setups. A been giving us gems. A been plugging us up and really giving us sauce on the markets 24 7. Like, I'm always giving off free game. Even when I do these Sunday breakdowns, I'm low key giving y'all analysis on how I genuinely trade the market and really can plug y'all in. And yes, I do have a course that is now, it's crazy, I could talk about that too. The course is now um, exclusive now. Now I'm starting to get to the point where I want a certain type of mentee in my academy. So if you don't meet those qualifications that I'm looking for, I'm sorry, but I will not accept you into my academy because a lot of people take it for advantage, right? They take it for, uh, take it for granted. That's how I'm not taking it for advantage. That makes no sense. A lot of people take it for granted. So. Like it's like, let me make sure I got everything while I'm over here talking to you. Uh, cheese. Go back and get your nice things. Oh no, yeah, we get back and get that. But yeah, like, it's genuine, like, bro, like, people gonna take it for granted. And I was still like, I talked about this in one of my old videos on YouTube, like, people wait for stuff to go on sale. And I'm letting you know now, my academy is not going on sale no more. That's John Dead. The value that I'm giving out on a daily, and then the signal shots that's getting great to be included into the academy, everything that's coming. No, no more sales, no more for the academy, or it definitely wasn't no sales on the signal shots because that's OD. Like, we're going undefeated for a reason. What I look like putting a sale on that, um, and it's still affordable. I'm still keeping it at 100, like 175 a month, so that's still nothing compared to what my mentee's been making. Like, I literally had a mentee just tell me he had a, his first two days back into trading, he had a 7k day in the market. Like, bro, what? Like, are you, are you kidding me right now? Am I surprised? No, because I know what I provide to my mentees and just like my signature members as a whole, but yeah, I do not ever disrespect me or try to DM me. I'm always responding to DMs. Like, I don't want to get to that point where I'm not responding to y'all. Like, I try to be, uh, 
I try to deliver smile. Like, I understand, like, there's gonna be times, I understand, like, I'm only one person. So, like, if you DMing me, like, unless I'm busy or unless you're my person mentee, you're not getting access to me, right? So, everything as far as, like, questions go, either ask on the, under the YouTube comment section here or go look in the frequently asked questions that I have on the Academy already. Because I'm pretty sure the question that you may have might already be there, right? Uh, <clears throat> so, with that being said, like, if you haven't noticed already, my Academy is when the next drop. It's exclusive, right? So applications are actually live now, but there are only gonna be 20 spots available. Damn, it's, okay, so that's all gone. It's only gonna be 20 spots available for my uh, students, right? So whoever the 20 years that I select through the application process, as I go and look, that's all, that's who's gonna be accepted into it. But um, if you don't get accepted this time, like, it's okay. Like, don't think it's gonna be NRB all. You can still get in touch with me either through like just getting get involved in the single chat until the next official release, which I don't know when it's gonna be. But so I yeah, so yeah, that's the case. Hopefully I advise you guys to get on that and apply. Cause you never know. You might get something, you might not. Um yes, there will be a higher incentive if you're in the single chat, you get you will get like dang their first dibs for when the applications come well applications are already on now, but you'll get first dibs as far as like okay. I see that you took the first step, so let me know that you actually taking this series because you enrolled in the Cinder Chat. So you have a higher probability of getting accepted into the academy versus if you are not in a uh, Cinder Chat member at all. So if you're not a member, I highly advise you to plug in. Um, just because that will probably give you like an extra boost. I'm going to look and check on my back end and see like, all right, is there already a Cinder Chat member? Have they already been plugging in? Have they been plugging into the YouTube channel? Whatever that looks like. Um, what am I looking for? I came over here for something. I'll be forgetting what I came over here for. Dang. What's going on, man? Get hit. Actually, I just showed you. Uh... Excuse me. Chili that I just showed y'all is the actual chili that Detroit County Island be putting in their chili. So, if you wanna know how Detroit County Island tastes, get hit to this Tony Papa seasoning. I just put y'all on free game. But yes, man, so like, at the end of the day, do not let, like, people with a higher following trick you into thinking they really have the results that you're looking for. Like, you might see somebody with a 100K or 10K followers, Versus me with 2,500 followers. You're like, oh, since he got 10K followers, so I see a whole bunch of people commenting, da 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 da. Let me plug in with him. Whole time, Joseph, you, buddy, isn't even really trading like that in the market. He hasn't even made over six figures, or he hasn't even made touch 10K in a day. But you're going to him over somebody that's really showing you results. Not only just on a YouTube channel, or just like, not even just me in general, just in general, like anybody. But like, you choosing them versus someone that's constantly showing you results over and over. And has the footage and everything in the back of it. Make it make sense. Uh, I think I might be forgetting something. Just talking to y'all might be distracting me. But I don't think it is. I got my chicken. Cheese. Uh, you know, I don't think it is. But uh, y'all, I'm about to check out. So I'll catch y'all later. All right, what's up, y'all? What's up? Welcome back. It's currently the next day, Sunday, July 9th. You guys have already decided what the breakdown for the week was. It's actually going to be US 30. So before I actually get ready to give you guys this free setup, I want you guys to know um, my free link to join. Actually, you know what? I'll just put in this YouTube video. Check in the YouTube bio or visit my Instagram, the free link to join the free Telegram chat that I'll be calling out probably setups. I'm going to try to get more consistent on I know it's a lot of y'all already in there. And I was like, you know what? This past week, I was like, dang, I have already been calling a lot of trades in there just as much so just to make sure i'm actually providing value for you guys i'm going to make sure this week i give you at least two to three trades whether it's on gold or obviously the setup i'm giving y'all right now with us 30 or even just like a nice 100 setup that i'm gonna give y'all this week and actually i think i'm gonna go even a step deeper um after i give y'all this breakdown video on here on youtube later on this week i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna give y'all a free gold setup as well i'm gonna do a breakdown video on gold like a bigger picture of what i'm looking for on gold and then I'll get y'all that set up as well for my people that trade gold. 
right so even though i don't trade gold as much anymore but i do have the sauce for what i'm gonna give y'all on how you can trade it and how you can capitalize off of it this week so that way i can have something to look forward to so without further ado let's get into the us 30 chart and i'm about to agree to go ahead and break it down for you guys so i'll catch you over there peace out what's going on you guys what's going on welcome to the us 30 free setup that i'm giving to the youtube channel uh shout out to you for watching the whole video shout out to you for just plugging in with me every sunday i know i didn't give you all set up last sunday so i'm gonna make up for it this week like i said but plugging more into the free center chat and then just give you all this free setup right now so without further ado let's just hop right into it um let's see what we're looking at for us 30. so currently we are approaching really a major support level on us 30. um but I think I'm, I'm gonna give you all I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna give you all three different setups. And then the other ones, you just have to either be in the center chat or you have to just pay attention to it like as you're on the charts live yourself, all right? So for starters, let's just start right here, right? So as we already know, let's go based off of where was the lowest point in the market on Friday? And the lowest point in the market that the market came to was right here. Here is gonna be a support level that we're looking for off the charts and then what was the highest point in the market like what was the area that it pushed up to gave us a fake breakout but then it came back inside that same zone that price area that i'm looking for now was at 34024 so originally on friday when we was looking in the chat and i said in the chat we call it like i think i want to say like 660 pips 960 pips before the market came back inside the zone like this was the this was the original zone that we was looking at so once it broke out of the zone like, okay bet we green but when you look to the left of the chart, you see this price area was a key resistance level that started the sales last time when you were starting. So once price came back to that area, that's the reason why the market um, retested that resistance and then automatically started coming back for those sales. So if you were somebody that was, was in these buys or expecting the buys like an NFP when the news release and everything, that's what happened. That's what caused the market to retest back to the same support level that started the buys um, on Friday. So as we're going into the chart now, um, the setup I'm going to give you all so far for this week is basically, essentially, since we're at the bottom of the support, we are already in a buyer's range. But instead of just entering like right here at the bottom of the support, I want to give you guys a setup for when a price actually breaks above. This is on the 15 minute time frame. I want to look for like a bullish engulfing candlestick that has to close above this long bearish candlestick right here. By the time we see that, so something like this right here, by the time we see that, that should be the sign that the market it's good to go for those buy positions. Yes, you could enter right here at the support if you want to, but I want you to try to use, we're gonna call this like, this is a, a test run of you using discipline, right? Cause you know, a lot of people rush to enter the market and then on a pair like US 30, the way I trade it, like I make sure like, I'm kind of like super precise on my entry for US 30 and we'll go about, we could risk like 350 right here in the setup. So, I'm very precise with my setups on US 30 because I, I understand like your entry can either make or break you. It's a trade. Entry can either get you in drawdown or no drawdown at all. Right. So entering here, yes, even though this would be like the most zero drawdown possible, but you won't know for sure how the market is going to react until the market actually opens up. You feel me? So I'm gonna give you a hmm. I'm gonna give you a buy setup back to the top of the zone. I'm gonna give you a sell setup just in case it retests here and goes back down for the sales. And then I'm gonna give you all one more sniper buy entry, just in case we get like a, a fake breakout here, back to that major four hour level here, on a major support level, and then I'll give you all the big move right there. So let's start off with the first step I was about to give you all, right? So we're gonna go TP1 is gonna be 360 bips, roughly in this range, so that should be right there. TP2, we're gonna do 660. Still at the 675. That's funny. TP3, we're going to go 960. TP4, we're going to go 1200 pips. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make this line orange. Uh, can anybody tell me? Obviously, this isn't live right now. I, dang, I did say on YouTube I was going to start doing like live breakdowns. Let me know if enough people comment on this video, I will actually make that a thing. I promise y'all. If enough people comment on this video, I will do live breakdown videos for YouTube every Sunday at a certain time. We'll come on. I do a breakdown analysis just like this. So if enough of y'all comment for real, I got y'all. But look, so pause this video. It's the reason why I put this. I made this orange line. This orange line represents something important. It's basically I want y'all to pay attention to this price. But why do I want y'all to pay attention to this price? So go ahead, pause this video right now, 
and then press play when you think you found the answer to why. Right, so hopefully you paused it. If not, all right, we're, gonna, we're just gonna keep on going, right? So the reason why I'm putting the orange on right here because I want you to pay attention. When the market comes to this price right here, this was the originally the top of the zone that uh, the market was at on Friday. That was like, it was stuck in this highest point in the zone, right? So as it comes back to this area, 339.12, even 339.12 to 339.30 is basically like an area that it could hit this price and close inside the zone and then continue to go back down for the downtrend. So I want you guys to be cautious after the smash TP3 Pay attention to the momentum in the market. Is it starting to slow down? Is the currency starting to lose momentum? Or is it still being strong and really strong, like a strong bullish momentum buy off of this setup? Right? So I'm going to go ahead and keep giving you the other TPs. The next TP is going to be 1,500 pips, just in case we get that breakout entry. And then the last one I'm going to give you all TP for is the full retest back to that same sale area that started the uh, reversal on Friday for roughly, basically 2,000 pips. I'll bring it up just to give you 2,000. For 2,000 pips. So that'll be the official first trade I'm going to give you guys. Go ahead and mark your chart out the same way. Take a picture of this, however you want to do it. Actually, I could go ahead. I'm going to download this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and add this in, to the free chat as well for later on. But um, this is official. No, I'm not. I'm going to just tell you to watch the video. So that's going to defeat the purpose of you watching the video. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is going to be the first official buy setup that I'm going to be looking for for this um. London session slash New York, or just in general, when the market actually sets us up for this play right here, and we might see something like this too. So I don't want you to enter as soon as the price will show. Let the market close above this price right here. We might see the market hit this price, retest back to the zone just to confirm that it's going. Um, to confirm that it's going for the buys because it can retest the support and then break and then go for the sales. So then you're mad that you enter early. Because you didn't wait and listen to, for, to A when he said wait for the retest or wait for the actual close above that price. Because you might see price get hit, retest back to the support one more time just to confirm it. And then, then once it pushes out and closes, that's when you take that setup and you look for that move that you're looking for for you to start. Right? So this is going to be the first official setup I'm giving y'all. The second official setup. That's mine, I might as well. All the TP smash. We're all the way at the top. We're all the way at the top of the zone now. What are we looking for? If the market closes, if the market fails to break above 34, 19, 34 right? If it fails to break above this area, that's giving us an indication that two things is going to happen here, right? We're going to get a sell off. And originally, I would say I would have told y'all y'all could just sell right here. Honestly, I think I am going to give y'all this. I'm going to give y'all this sell at 33995 But once again, it's the reason why I said it. It's the reason why I was like, mm, I could give y'all this sell, but I'm not. But... I'm gonna give you a short position setup on this because I want you to see why. The market has to retest the zone that it broke out of. If, when the market retests the zone, so by this point, I'm gonna give you a, we can go, make TP smaller for this, 250, 500. So it's a 500 pip uh, retest back to the zone. If end up breaking back down, cool. Take profit somewhere down here, you got 2000 pips to potentially catch off of this move if it actually closes back inside this zone. But there could be a possibility that after it retests this area and bounce off of this, it comes back to this zone. And then the moment this market closes above the zone, that is a potential, uh, another entry that you could take for another buy entry. So you caught 500 pips off the short positions for the sale. And then you may have another opportunity to hop in for a buy on US 30 um, as it closes above this zone. And then that's what I was saying. Like, I'm not really going to give you all that setup. Like, if you're in the center chat by that time, then you'll get this setup as the market is actually happening. Because then from here, who knows how long the market will take off. So that'll be me in the chat updating y'all. Like, hey, we're looking to swing to this price. Da, 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 da. This is what I'm seeing based off of whatever news is coming out. And we actually do. I put it in the chat already what news events is coming out and stuff. So um, it's a nice amount of news coming out this week that should be making the market take off. Right, so that'll be like the next setup, the sales setup I'll give y'all. And like I said, if it comes inside the zone, um, literally, it's literally like at your discretion to decide what you want to set your TP to. Anywhere between 1500 to probably like anywhere between because you already gonna this is TP to 500 pips, so anywhere between like 750 to 1500 is cool because once we get back down this area, you guys should already know. That would be an area that's like, okay, I probably should be mining for this area because back in that buyer's range, off of that support level, right? And then the last setup I'm going to give y'all will be a full retest back to the bottom of this major support level. 
the higher the time frame, the higher the time frame, the bigger the move. I'm gonna post it today. Cause I say this all the time and I'm gonna keep saying it until y'all really understand what I mean by it. The higher the time frame, the bigger the move. The higher the time frame, the bigger the move, the bigger the setup, the bigger the swing, the bigger the trade that you could take. So in this setup, we're gonna bring this entry all the way down here to the bottom of support. Um, if it does end up pushing down here, I dang near might set a bottom in myself. We're gonna risk about on this move just so the trade can have some breathing room because it is a chance that it could break out. We're gonna go 500 pips. So for people that don't know anything about risk management, um, essentially a 0 0.01, that's the minimum micro a micro lot that you can place on the trade. This will be saying that you'll be risking $56 on this setup right here to potentially catch, uh, depending on, if you, like I said, if you're doing 0 0.01, 390, 290, 200, 120, whatever that looks like for you on the, on the swing setup that you're looking for, right? So, but I will give you, uh, this will be like a major move. I'm giving y'all, like, this is a trade that I'm about to actually call in my official sentence chat and get them right with. Uh, we'll go... 370. I'll just give y'all 2,500 bits for this. I'll make that the last one. Uh, 2,000. 1,500s. 1,200. Um, 950. Yeah, I definitely think I might do the, uh, that'd be so cool, bro. Doing like a, a Sunday breakdown video for y'all. Yeah, that'd be fire. But, so last CP would be 2,500, but here's the standard TPs that I have that I always use. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. So this honestly might be the official setup that you could take. But like I said, if this becomes a support level, this when the market opens back up and we see that this is the official support level that's going to play off of we don't even need to worry about this entry down here just go based off of this one and look for those retesters back to this price right here right so on that note i'm going to go ahead and end this video now shout out to everybody that stayed to the end to watch it make sure you like uh subscribe or just leave a comment like i said if you want me to actually do live videos like this so that way i can i can see your questions on the side and i answer it as i'm actually breaking down the moves on what i'm looking for but um yeah Make sure you leave a like for me. Subscribe at minimum. Roll to 500. 500 subscribers. We're literally almost, we're, well, we're above halfway there now. We're at 280. So that's all we need is 200 more people to join, hop, on, hop in and join the fun with us. But all right, y'all. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed this video.